Good morning, everyone. I think it's fair to say that we like to be in control. I've never ridden in a driverless car, and I'm not so inclined to do so. I don't think I would respond very well to not having control over the wheel. I think it's fair to say that many of us during these challenging days feel as if we're in a driverless car. We don't really have, it seems at least, control over all that is happening in our lives, in our world, in our country, and in the city of Boston in the wake of this terrible coronavirus. But, you know, as a people of faith, there are certain things over which we do have control. We can choose, in the midst of these challenging days, to live a life of virtue. We can control how we respond to these difficult circumstances. So I would like to propose three ways by which we can respond. First of all, choose to pray. Pray for those who are sick or suffering with the virus, those who have passed on for their families. Pray for healthcare workers and nurses and doctors and first responders. Pray with a, a fervent and hopeful heart. Back on Ash Wednesday, which seems so long ago now, you know, we heard our Lord say, you know, when you pray, go to your room, close the door, pray to your Father, and your Father will hear those prayers. Secondly, choose to love. We have many opportunities each day in concrete, ordinary ways to show our love for one another. Pope St. Leo the Great said that God is love, and God cannot be contained, and so love must have no limit. St. Teresa of Calcutta said that love is not love until it is shared. So choose to love. And then finally, choose to trust. Trust that our Lord is with us during this difficult time, right by our side. Grab his hand and never let go. Jesus, I trust in you. Choose to pray, choose to love, choose to trust. My brothers and sisters, God bless you.